India, our country, is run not only by politicians and children belonging to affluent families. India, our country, is run by children who come from middle class families, children who come from lower middle class families, children of farmers, children of soldiers, children of all those parents who work very hard to educate their children to become better Indian citizens. So this is our India. And today, me, Pal Rohargi, coming from a middle class family, is going to be sharing my story that goes with the platform theme of One Step Forward. <laughs> my father, he graduated from IIT Kanpur. I am a computer engineer. I am a 12th science board ranker. So yes, I'm good at academics. Yeah? <laughs> now, in my college, I used to participate in a lot of debates and fashion shows. So my youth had a flavor of both fashion and speech. But I chose modeling, which later got graduated into acting industry because it was something that excited my mind. I've always been intrigued by change. But somewhere I felt that the speaker in me, the orator in me, is not getting its due. So here I am, in front of all of you, very proud and very humbled to get the opportunity to give my first speech at TEDx I am Rotha. Because today I get graduated from being labeled as a WhatsApp University passer. You got the joke? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to be telling you how you all need to design your own model for change. In the year 2000, I was one of the top finalists of Femina Miss India pageant. The Femina Miss India pageant. But I could not make it to the top three. So at that time, I did not let that defeat become the end product or the outcome of that pageant. I had to redefine my journey in the modeling industry. And for that, what did I do? I contacted Indian organizers who had international tie-ups and I got to represent India in 2001 in Miss Tourism World that was held in Medellin, South America. And I did it via an Inega agency. So what did I do? I redefined the outcome of the Femina Miss India pageant that was held in 2000. My experience in Medellin, South America, in that pageant, interacting with the ladies who were representing various countries was great. I was flaunting my Indian wear, but I knew at the back of my mind I had to win a title. And the title that I won was Supermodel Miss Tourism World, 2001. End of the story end result as per my vision. And I'm sharing this experience with all of you today because I don't know how many of you aspire to become models. But if you do, you know that the journey is going to be difficult. The end product may not be as what you have visualized. But you can change the end product as per your sensibilities. Okay? Going forward. How did I change the social dogma of working as a model? Yes. I'm going to be sharing all my one step forward incidents with you because today we have to talk about one step forward. So as a model, I come from a middle class family and they don't have great uh, you know, regards for one wanting to become a model because for them, model is someone who has a frivolous lifestyle. But I did well in making my family accept my decisions. My ability to dare was what made them realize that I need to reinvent my profession and relocate to Mumbai. So I was in Mumbai. Model is supposed to be someone who has to position herself in front of the camera, wear high heels, unreal outfits. It's a very, very tough job, trust me. Looking sexy is not easy. Keep your back straight, posture correct. Look in such a way that you look seductive in front of the camera or give expressions that the campaign desires. It's a lot of hard work. And let me tell you, you have to eat right. Sometimes you have to chew post lunch and you need to maintain that flat stomach look because that's the job description. You've been hired as a model because you fit a certain body type criteria. So. I was successful in beating the social
social dogma attached to being a model with my immediate family and friends. But I'm sharing all this with you here because I want you all to understand that being a model is not easy. You need to sacrifice comfort, food and work in extreme conditions. I hope I can inspire the people who want to become models out here that it's going to be a tough journey ahead if you aspire to do so. But don't give in to the vices. Just work towards your dreams. Now, I'm a computer engineer. I came to the modeling industry. What do I do next? It's always one step forward. I get into the TV industry. How do I get into the TV industry? Why do I want to get into the TV industry? Because I'm a model. I was giving expressions, sometimes able to speak one or two lines. But that was not satisfying the speaker in me. I wanted to say more lines. I wanted to act more. I wanted to interact with the camera more. So what do I do? I give auditions. And I do my transition from being a model to becoming an actor who has to give lots and lots of lines in front of the camera. And I become an actor. Now my personal conclusion is that it's very, very um, different kind of drama in television industry. The television industry drama is more staged. You guys must have seen it because you have families who are watching television drama. But drama in films is much more real. It's a personal conclusion. Just sharing it with all of you. What do I do next? I obviously get into the market, but I have to work at nominal fees because uh, I have to get into the market. I'm no star kid. I have to pay my bills. Life is difficult for being, uh, life is difficult for an outsider when they come into the television industry, modeling industry, because it's difficult. Get prepared for it. I sometimes had to struggle to get the money that the production houses owed me because I was an outsider. I was not paid so fast. I was not paid easily as per commitment. I had to take it in my stride. Now, I am sharing all this with you because I've always taken one step forward. With the influx of social media, I think there is enough opportunities for newcomers wanting to get into modeling and television industry uh, without succumbing to any kind of unprofessional pressure or behavior. Public awareness can be used as a weapon in the times of social media, I hope. And you all do that so that you all don't succumb to any kind of unprofessional behaviors in your career graphs if you want to become a model or an actor. I have obviously done my transition one step at a time from being a computer engineer to becoming a model and then becoming an actor. Recently, I again reinvented myself. I participated in a captive reality show on an OTT platform. You guys are into OTT. I know the youth is into OTT. So I was like, I have to reinvent myself. And so I did a captive reality show. I lasted till the end from the first day. It was an enriching experience. And I did it something up. I did this show after 14 years, a similar kind of show, a captive reality show. So all I would tell all the youngsters out here who have come to listen to us, us speakers, that please every day morning when you get up, take one step at a time to go towards that direction which your heart wants to fulfill. Namaste.